Okay, hey, what do we have today? Hi, Auntie. So here we have the Speak and Math. Uh, basically, it's kind of like a math gaming device. So this was from 1987, and this was at Auntie's house, right? Yep. So basically, um, we found this just lying around, and when we when we opened up, when we looked at the back, we realized no batteries, so we can turn so it on. So we went to Dollarama, got um four C cell batteries, which are basically those big batteries that are in most baby toys. If you guys have a um, AC cable, then that would also work for charging it. And then there's also a uh, headphone cable if you have headphones lying around. So basically, um, so this is basically what it overall looks like. It's got a handle here. It's got a screen, a speaker, a bunch of different buttons with different modes and stuff like that. Uh, the speaking math logo. And then the back just has some duct tape. And that's where the four C cell batteries are. So now I'm going to turn it on. So it has fun little startups. Okay, so the first mode right here is basically math. It's basically just pretty simple math. So if I go on level one, level one. it's going to say level one, then I hit go to one, start. One, zero is one. So it's pretty simple at the beginning. That's right. Try eight plus nine is what? Seventeen. Yep. That's correct. Now try seven plus three is what? So as you can see, it's progressively, it's progressively getting harder. Now if I try to get the answer wrong, so say I just do 63 or something. <laughs> wrong. Try again. Seven plus so it says I got it wrong. Correct. Now if I do a different answer, if I get it wrong again. That's incorrect. The correct answer is 10. So basically now it's going to tell you the real answer. And if you get it wrong once and you get it right the second time, it's going to count it as being right. Okay, so that's Next basically the first mode. Nine plus three is what? Let me just show you a couple more uh, math questions. That's correct. Seven plus three it is what? It sometimes repeats the question because it only has a limited number of uh Questions that's for right. level one. Your score is four right, one wrong. So now after a couple questions, going to tell you your score. So that was five questions. So, so what's next, B? Okay, well, I guess we'll try word problems. Let's see what this is. Word problems, level one. Okay, so when I hit four go. times what number equals 20? Okay, so that's five. So four times five equals 20. That's right. Try what is next. Two, four, six. So now eight. So as you see, it's got a number of different. Now try three times three equals what? So it's got a number of different things. It will do, or it will do multiplication. Right. It will Next do addition. Try five tens and three tens are how many tens? So that's eight. So you have to keep in mind. You have to listen very carefully. That's correct. How much is nine plus eight? Plus two. Oh, so now plus eight plus two. Wrong. Try again. Oh, whoops. How much is nine plus eight plus two? So as you see, you can it does the same thing when you get it wrong here. That's right. Your score is five right, zero wrong. So as you see right here, it gives the score again. So the next thing I want to go over is greater than less than. I'll let Kay do this one. Greater than less than level one. So you're just going to want to hit go. 18 plus 4 is greater than or less than 20. And if you see over here on the left, you have the clear. If you put a wrong answer in, you have the great, you have the less than, greater than, and then you have the repeat. So if I hit that. plus 4 is greater than or less than 20. It says the same thing again. So now we're just going to let K put the answer in. Oh, wait. Um, and then yes. you have enter. 3 is greater than or less than 1. So now we're just going to put in, and we'll put 13 in. 13 is greater than or less than 31. As you see, level 1 is pretty simple. So it's pretty simple. Level 2 might be a bit harder, That's though. Right. Try 12 minus see, it gets progressively harder. Or less than 10 plus 8. So now you have to do the math inside your head. So it gets progressively harder. I'll just do this one, if you want. That's incorrect. The oh, correct see, answer is if you get wrong, minus seven is less than ten plus eight. Greater than or less than eight plus three. So as you see right here, we'll just let K do it. Thirty seven is greater than or less than thirty nine. Nine plus one is greater than or less than one plus ten. Minus three is greater than or less than twelve. So it does the 
does get progressively harder as you go on. So, let's see. If you want, okay, I can do this one. So, we'll see. See, so this one's very hard, and we'll see what happens when Kay gets this one wrong, if she does. Oh, Want to do some? See? Let's just see what happens when we get the wrong answers, so we can show everybody. I'll just put in this one, not letting you know if that's... See? Incorrect. So it only gives you one chance on greater than less than? Yep. <laughs> I just did the same one. So as we know right here. Did you press? Is it this one? Yep. So that's correct. See? This will be the last one that we're going to do because we don't want it to take too long, obviously. So we'll just do this one really quickly. So seven, five, okay. That's correct. Okay, so that's all the ones. What's next, Duffy? I guess we're going to try to write it. Let's see what this one is. I like, hey, do this one. So let's see what this is. Go. So basically, you just have to write the number. It's pretty simple. Let's figure out how many turns it, um, it gives you until um, it yeah. tells you the answer. So, okay, so let's, let's just say put the two. Number, yeah, let's just put the number wrong. Um, let's just put eight. I'm thinking it's giving you two chimes. Oh, yeah, it only gives you one try, actually, Kay. So it, oh, wait, it what wrong. did it say? Oh, there's also a repeat button. See, so it gets, if you get it wrong once, then it will, then it counts it as the wrong answer. There's no second try. It's pretty simple. That's probably why it does that. So on level one, it's pretty hard to get it wrong unless you hit a wrong key or something. But on level two, it gets harder. Uh, 15, it's it. So yeah, we'll just do these last two ones and then we'll be done. 15. Oh, see, so it repeats a lot because it only has a number of different stuff in its database. Um, what's next up, B? Okay, now this number stumper. Number stumper. Level so basically, one. what this is, is it's basically a guessing game. So the game will give you hints about what the number is, and then you can, you have to try to guess the number. So here, we're just going to put a random number, 58. It has to be, for level one, it's two digit, it's a two digit number. Number right, one, number in wrong place. So Zero. now, I believe that... The eight is the correct, uh, the eight is in the correct, is the correct number, or the eight is in the correct place. I don't know, it's a bit confusing. So now we're going to try something like 28. Number right, zero, number one. So place. now that means zero. it's 80 something, so we're going to try 83. Number right, zero, number one place. Now we're going to try 25, maybe? It's very complicated. It's go. Okay, don't forget to hit go. Number right, zero, number in wrong place, zero. So as you see, let's try 59 or something. Number right, zero, number in wrong place, So we seem to be having no luck at all. 21. Number right, zero, number in wrong place, zero. 95. Number right, zero, Oh my god, we have terrible place, luck here. Zero. 59. Number right, zero, number in wrong place. So as you zero. see, it's very hard to figure out what number to actually right, do. Zero, oh. number in wrong place. Okay, let's try. One. So number right, zero, number in wrong place, one. So that means there's one number that's in the wrong place. So if we try 37. Number right, one, number in wrong place, zero. So that means one of the numbers is correct, and... None of them are in the wrong place. So it's either 37 or 70 something. Okay, um, let's so, try. Uh, 30, try 37. Oh, there's 37 already on there. And 39. It's wrong. Number right, zero. Okay, so that means it's place. something zero. something. Eight tries. The oh. number is four, seven. So it seems that once you do eight tries, then you run out of chances and then it t 
tells you the answer. So we're going to try one more of these to actually see how it actually functions because we seem to be terrible at this. Okay, so we hit go. I'll put in number, number 68. So, right. so that means one six or eight could be right. So I'm so just gonna try, try sixty-two. Right. Zero. That means okay, so eighty eight. something. Right. Zero. It's eight. something eight. Fifty-eight. Right. Yeah. So that means Number something eight. eight. One. Okay. So you can try seventy-eight. Number right. Zero. Number in wrong place. One. Let's try twenty-eight. Thirty-eight. Number right. Zero. Number in wrong place. One. So now we Let's just have to guess 20. until we get to a right. Number right. Zero. Number in wrong place. One. Try forty-eight. B. Forty-eight. Okay. Number right. Zero. Number in wrong place. One. Fifty-eight. I already did sixty-eight. Try fifty-eight. Number right. Zero. Number in wrong Try place. Try eighteen. One. Eight. Try it. The number is eight. Nine. Oh, see, look, we got it wrong again, but we were getting actually pretty close. So this is the speaking math review. We've done all the functions of this thing, and it's a pretty good device, like I said. All the buttons here for the different symbols, the clear over here, the main keypad buttons, and all the buttons here. I think we've gone over all the stuff of this um, speaking math. So if you've ever played this game before, tell us if we missed any functions. I actually don't know what this mix it button does and this dot button. I have no idea what it does. Oh, maybe 1.5. But... Oh, yeah, I guess maybe if you go into decimals, then this would help you with decimals. But I have no idea what the mix-it button does. See, look, if I just go greater than less. Greater than less than level 1. And I hit mix it, it doesn't do anything. So I have no idea if that button's just broken or if it doesn't do anything. So tell us in the comments below. If you've ever played this before and everything. So um, I guess like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. We do uh, lots of kind of, I guess... This is like, kind of like a gaming device. It looks like a giant calculator, and we do lots of reviews on this stuff. And so, our next video is actually going to be on a scientific calculator. So like and subscribe, and bye.